Hello Pisces, welcome to A Love Reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, about the connection, what are their true intentions towards you. Um, we're also going to um, look at their next possible actions if they do want to show up. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Spirit angels guide. What messages, what guidance do you have for Pisces regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards Pisces? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? intentions towards Pisces want to know. Okay, let's see what we get for you. Wow, seven of swords. Ten of swords. King of pentacles. What? Bottom of the deck, nine of wands. Well, you don't trust this person or they don't trust you. Not. I don't know which one it is. But something happened between you that led to someone feeling betrayed or someone feeling used, lied to, discarded. Tell me more about the energies that this person is bringing to this connection with Pisces. What is this person's energies towards Pisces? Hidden feelings. Oh. Hmm, I don't like this energy. And unhealthy attachments. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. And don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. A difficult decision at the bottom of the deck here. I am not loving this energy, Pisces. What's going on? Um... I feel like someone is hiding something from you or hid something from you because it was um it's almost like it was like a, a like a bad secret or something to be ashamed of let me know in the comments if that's resonating did someone um hide something from you because it was like a terrible thing or something that was it's like whatever this was should have never seen the light of day something like that or someone try to keep it buried. Tell me about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Pisces. Thoughts, feelings. I made a mistake. Person's thought. I still check up on you. Hmm, I feel trapped at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, somebody here, I feel like they could have even made a mistake and got into something unhealthy and toxic. Well, let's break this down. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. King of Pentacles would never do this. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Death, Scorpio energy. I think. This person might tell you that they've changed or it's not what you think. I'm not that person anymore. They could tell you that whatever situation they found themselves in now, whatever unhealthy attachment that they might have jumped into, it ended. What's behind that? Page of Wands. I think this person is going to possibly contact you some of you have this person blocked 
or you changed your number or they don't have your number, something like that. Let me get one more. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords? Um, for a small number of you, this person moved. After all of this happened, this person moved away or you moved away. But they're still checking up on you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh yeah. I think that this person, they must have gotten caught or you figured something out. I think that you distance yourself from this person or things didn't work out for them. It doesn't really matter what I'm getting. More importantly, the message that I'm getting is that this person, it didn't work out. Whatever they wanted, I felt like it kind of blew up in their face. And that's why they're saying I made a mistake. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Hmm. Justice, yeah, Libra energy. So they're gonna try to uh, fix this, Pisces. But be very careful, because I think they might try to show themselves as a king of pentacles, or you are a king of pentacles. Someone very grounded, stable, and loyal. King of pentacles also tends to already be, for me as a reader, in some sort of a commitment they provide. Some of you... Pisces, and this is not for everyone. I'm just getting a lot of messages. This person's going to ask for money. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. And it's like they're waiting for you. It's like they're at your mercy. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Three of Wands. Yeah. Seven of Wands. I think you're going to be like this. I'm, I am not interested. I'm done. I'm leaving all of this behind. Or they're going to tell you that they're walking away from whatever wherever they were at i don't th i think you don't trust this person with justice i almost get the sense that it, when they when they he he or she brings you this offer it's almost like you want to know you want to know the truth you don't care about the emotional side of it which is kind of strange i feel like this person probably used your emotions against you. I think you've learned from that. I think some of you are going to leave this person on red or like leave them waiting. If this person is asking you for money, I think you're definitely going to leave them like on red. Because I see you as this justice energy. Um, I think this person is also going to try to come to you uh, um, as a very upright, stand-up type of person. That's why the King of Pentacles is here. Let's see. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. But I don't know if this is going to work. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Can I get one more? One more. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like this person is hoping to make things right here. But with the Two of Wands, I don't know if this is like a difficult decision for you. Yeah, there's deep regret after that. It's like maybe you don't know how to take this. You're not sure of your answer, or this person's not sure which option would actually get you to listen to them. I think you're this Nine of Pentacles. I think you're doing very well for yourself, or at least you ended up looking good at the end of whatever happened between you. And 
I don't think, I think it was the opposite for them. I think that they ended up looking terrible. Or they jumped into something thinking, like let's say this person left you for someone else and it was very public and they made a huge deal about it and then it turns out it didn't work out. Or they got cheated on or something like that. It's almost like they, something seriously backfired for this person. And since it backfired, I feel like that's why they're realizing that this was a mistake, that they made a, mis a mistake. Let's look at their true intentions, next actions. What are this person's true intentions? Next possible actions towards Pisces. True intentions. This person's true intentions. Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, so what I'm getting here with the Four of Cups is that there's this person's depressed. They're not doing well. So let's see what this Four of Cups, what we can find out. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Almost like they feel trapped. Yeah, Two of, of Cups wanted to come out. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. They had something good and they ruined it. Yep. And now it's like, I need to, I need to really gain ground with Pisces because I screwed things up royally. And now I might have lost the one person that was really good for me. Six of Swords, Eight, um, eight of Swords and the Three of Cups. I think that this person possibly there was someone else involved. And I think they might feel trapped there or they're trapped by their circumstances right now because of their own actions. I think this person has to prove to you that they're willing to work on things, that they mean what they say. But in their mind, it's like, man, I, I really screwed up here. I made a huge mistake and now I don't know what my future holds. I think you're showing up at this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Justice Energy, Four of Wands. Yeah, you're very stable. Things were good with you. And they, they're they hoping for that again. But it's like, I don't know. Yeah, let's work things out. Let's work on things. It hasn't been the same, you know, since we stopped talking or whatever. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the King of Wands. I wonder if some of you are going to say it's too little too late. Or maybe you'll accept this apology and say, let's just be civil to each other. But I'm not interested in coming back. Tell me about the King of Wands. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Tell me about the King of Wands. See, in their mind, they're thinking, if I come at Pisces the right way, Emperor energy, the Aries um, Aries here in Queen of Cups, then Pisces will be more receptive. Pisces will listen to me because I'm coming at them correct. I'm coming at them as an emperor energy, as the Hierophant, someone that does things right, someone like the King of Pentacles that showed up in the previous spread. I'm coming at them as the King of Pentacles, so how can they deny me? <laughs> and the thing is, like, it's not so simple because your history is against you. So, Pisces, I think that you might have a decision to make. Um, I don't see action from this person. I see them trying to prove themselves to you in some way. The Emperor, the King of Wands, they tend to be doers. Tell me about the Emperor. What's this Emperor going to do? Ten of Cups. I think that, yeah, okay, okay so I, I don't think this person knows what to do. Two of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They just know that they're feeling terrible. So this is more about how they're feeling. And they're hiding this, by the way. Hidden Feelings is here. I think that you're probably not aware that things have backfired for them to the extent that they have, that they're as depressed as they are, that they're not happy. They might be in an unhealthy attachment, feeling trapped. And all they can do is check up on you and see how you're doing and feel bad for themselves. 
So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the giveaway if you'd like to enter to win a personal reading. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.